Hello, and welcome to First Kids Warship! First Kids Warship! Today we're going to learn about another fruit of the Spirit, faithfulness. And there's going to be an intro that shows you in vivid detail with paper clips how to be faithful. And you're going to hear songs and worship and see videos, and you're going to end up with a craft that will let you wear faithfulness like the apostles did. So let's buckle up our seatbelts and get ready for First Kids Warship! First Kids Warship! Today we're going to be talking about faithfulness or being full of faith. Now, who is somebody in the Bible that was close to Jesus that um, was full of faith, that he performed an act of faith, a, a miracle. Well, we're going to talk about Peter and how he walked on water. Now, I don't know if you have ever tried, but I've tried walking on water, aka falling into a swimming pool. And you know what? When it comes to being close to a body of water, usually it's a willy-nilly effort on our part. And what happens? Just like this, Paperclip, who represents us, and the cup of water, which represents a swimming pool, a lake, body of, of uh, water, we just sink and we go down to the bottom, huh? Yeah, not much action going there. Now, why was Peter able to walk on water? Well, he was full of faith. And why was he full of faith? He was full of faith because he knew that his friend, he knew Jesus who he clung to, would help him through it. So what does the paperclip need? Well, let's represent this paperclip that's holding the other paperclip as Jesus. And if we cling to Jesus and we rest on him, we can be full of faith. And we can walk on water aka the paperclip floating if you want to see that again basically we have our paperclip which represents ourselves and we're leaning on jesus and we're going into that water and we're floating we're walking on water with him Now, as long as Peter had his eyes on Jesus, he was able to walk on water. And if he just kept those eyes on him and had faith, he could have walked all the way across the lake. But what happened? Yeah, he doubted. He took his eyes off of him. He became separated from Jesus. That happens to us where doubt comes into our lives when we decide that, you know, our rules are more important than God's rules. Or, um, you know, something happens to us that we get hurt. Our feelings get hurt from our friends or neighbors. Or we feel let down by the media because we don't feel like we're good enough. And that's where that doubt seeps in. So I have a cup of um, soap here. And I'm going to pour that in. And that is going to represent doubt. And watch Watch the paper clips. What happens? Oh, they fall down. Yeah. That's what happens when we have doubt. So we need to make sure and keep our eyes on Jesus. Keep close to him. And that way we will be full of faith. And just like Peter walking across the water, when we are full of faith, we can accomplish anything.
your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my dad to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross By death to pain from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way, from the earth to the cross, my dad to pay, from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on
Let me take the example of Peter and keep my eyes on you. Let me breathe in that faith so that I can do all the things that you want me to do. Give me the strength and the focus that when doubt starts swimming around in my thoughts or you know what? I do some things that I shouldn't be doing. Let me correct that. Let me look to you so that I am filled with faith and to do the things that you want me to do. In your name, amen.
guys, I'm Megan. Welcome to our series where we are learning about the fruit of the Spirit. We are so glad you are joining us this week. In this series, we are learning about how we can grow the fruit of the Spirit as we grow in our relationship with Jesus. To help better understand this, we are going to sing a song about the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let's sing it together. Tired or confused when a friend is mad or said something rude. God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit. A life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. God's love shown to all the world When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused When a friend is mad or said something rude God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit A life full of love, grace, and truth I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world God's love shown to all the world I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world God's love shown to all the world That was a great song. That worship song teaches us about how we can use the fruit of the Spirit to show others God's love. These qualities develop when we have a relationship with Jesus. As we grow closer to Him, the fruit will grow inside of us so we can show others what God's love looks like. Now we are going to watch our Bible story where we learn about a person in the Bible who lived out one of the fruits of the Spirit. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. The Apostles and the High Council. These are the Apostles. Hello! They followed Jesus during his time on earth. See ya! After he went to heaven, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be their helper. Then the Apostles spread the good news about Jesus everywhere they went. The Apostles performed many miracles and healed the sick. They met regularly in the temple in Jerusalem, and many came to believe in Jesus. Huh. All this made the Jewish high priest and his officials very jealous, so they arrested the apostles and put them in jail.
But an angel of the Lord came in the night Whoa. and opened the gate of the jail. The angel told them to go to the temple and tell people about Jesus. Got it. So at daybreak, the apostles went to the temple and told people about Jesus as the angel told them to. Meanwhile, the high priest and his officials called together a meeting of the high council. They sent the guards to bring the apostles out of jail, but when they went to the jail, they were gone. Wait, what? They returned to the council and reported that the men were gone. Guess what? Then someone arrived and announced that the men who were in jail were standing in the temple, teaching people. Go get them! The captain went with his temple guards and arrested the apostles. Come on, you. They brought them before the high council. The high priest said, We gave you strict orders never again to teach in this man's name. Um, yeah, but... But Peter and the apostles said, We must obey God rather than any human authority. They told Jesus' story that he was raised from the dead after they hung him on the cross and that now he was in heaven. They told them that Jesus did all these things so that people of Israel would turn to God and be forgiven for their sins. This made the high council furious <laughs> and they decided to kill the apostles. But one Pharisee named Gamaliel stood up <clears throat> and ordered that the men be sent outside the council for a while. Then he warned his fellow Jewish leaders that killing the apostles might bring more trouble than good. He advised them to leave the apostles alone. Not a good point. The other Pharisees saw his point and accepted his advice. They called the apostles in and had them beat up, but they didn't kill them. They ordered them to never speak in the name of Jesus, and then they let them go. The apostles left the high council happy that God thought them worthy to suffer for preaching the name of Jesus. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they continued to teach and preach this message. Jesus is the Messiah. What a great Bible story. This Bible story helps us see an example of how we can have the fruit of the Spirit. Remember, each of these qualities grows in us so others can see what God's love looks like. Welcome to the, the You Direct Awards show with yeah. Senior Banana. You get it? Like it's no. banana? Like, okay, no. so fruit of spirit, okay. right? Banana, yes, but right? No. Banana's a fruit. He has a mustache. What is he supposed to be? Okay, so mustache no. plus banana equals Senior Banana. That's that's too much of a stretch. I mean, I get where you were going. Banana's and a fruit, but, senior but banana. no. No, Senior what Banana. He, senior Banana makes him more of like a person than a fruit. What if we say it like this? Senior Banana! I mean, I still put. Senior Banana! Pastor Sean's gonna be here soon. We need to get rolling, and I just no. It's directed by you, worldwide premiere. The You Direct Awards. Hey everyone, we're so glad you're here for another episode of the You Direct Awards. I'm Ariel. And I'm Katie, and we're so glad that you're hanging with us today. Like we've been doing, all the videos that are submitted focus on a specific fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit are things in our lives that show we have the love of God in us. Things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yeah, all the videos that are submitted focus on a specific fruit of the Spirit. This week we're focusing on the fruit of the Spirit, faithfulness. And faithfulness is? Faithfulness is standing up for what we believe in because it's the right thing to do. We can show faithfulness by being bold and telling others about Jesus. I can't wait any longer, so let's bring out Pastor Sean to help announce this week's category winner. All right, thanks guys. I'm so excited to announce this week's winner. But before I do, let's talk about faithfulness. Remember guys, faithfulness is standing up for what we believe in because it's the right thing to do. In our Bible story today, the apostles showed their faithfulness to God and continued to preach the message despite being threatened by the Pharisees to stay silent about Jesus. The Bible tells us that no matter what our circumstances are, we should try our best to always be faithful and continue to tell others about Jesus because it's the right thing to do. Okay guys, it's time to announce the winner. May I have the envelope please?
Alright, so, uh, <laughs> hey, and guys, the winner for the faithfulness category in the U Direct contest is none other than Jacob from Lake Forest, California. Awesome job, Jacob. We actually have Jacob here via satellite. Jacob, are you there? Hey, Pastor Sean. Yeah, I'm here. Awesome. Jacob, do you have anything you want to say? Oh my gosh, I won? Okay, first I would like to thank South by Kids and you Direct for giving me this opportunity. And then I'd like to thank my dad for helping me film. And then I'd like to thank Joker, Counterman, Alfred, and Superman for their amazing acting skills. And I guess Batman too. Anyway, thank you everyone. Signing off. All right, congrats again, Jacob. Now, let's check it out and watch this award-winning film. Hey, my movie starts with black. So uh, this is not about your movie, or the color black, or the letters Y, O, or U. Oh, right. Faithfulness. This movie is about faithfulness. Created by Jacob Weirbach. Alfred, do you think the camera just recorded every crazy thing I just said? I sure hope not. There. God is awesome. There is no other like him. Ah! Ooh, my head. Ah! God can change your life. Ah! Oh, my head. tell you about my best friend God he's amazing ah! oh are you okay yeah I guess well you've been very faithful in telling the word of God despite being run over Alfred what is faithfulness again faithfulness is continuing to do what is right Trust in God, even when something tries to stop you. You're right. I'm going to keep telling the word of God no matter what. Do watch out for giant fruits in the future. Alfred, is this the end of the movie? That's what the screen says. Who's Jacob Weirbach? <sighs> Great job, Jacob, creating such a cool stop motion video. From Jacob's video, we got to see how Superman remained faithful by sharing God's love with others, even when he continued to get run over by the humongous orange. Superman didn't let anything stop him from telling others about the good news. Just like Superman, we can show our faithfulness to God by telling our family and our friends about his love for us. Even when it may be difficult, the Bible says that we should continue to show our faithfulness by telling others about how much God loves them. Now, it's time for me to throw it back to Ariel and Katie. Love you guys, and we'll see you back next week. Bye, guys. Well, this concludes this week's episode of the You Direct Awards. Remember, the fruit of the Spirit grows inside of us so that we can show others what God's love looks like. This week, we want to challenge you to find ways to show faithfulness by standing up for what you believe in because it is the right thing to do. I'm Ariel. And I'm Katie. And we'll see you guys back here next week for another episode of the You Direct Awards. I don't know about you, but I feel like I understand it so much better now that we have unpacked this week's Fruit of the Spirit. Now it's time for us to test our knowledge with a quiz. Super Snail Sam is here to help us expand our knowledge. If you know the answers to Super Snail Sam's questions, make sure to shout it out as loud as you can. Let's go ahead and join Super Snail Sam for our Fruit of the Spirit quiz. Gentlemen, imagine a world where the laws of physics no longer apply. Where house snails can have the speed of a cheetah and the strength of a thousand men. The time is now. We have the technology. We have the capability. We can make the world's first super snail. Super Snail Sam! Better than he was before. Better. Faster. Stronger. Laser vision. Super speed. The ability to speak. 
Super Snail Sam. How can we be faithful? Is it by standing up for what we believe in? By winning Battle Royale in Fortnite? Or by doing your homework? That's right. We can be faithful by standing up for what we believe in, because it's the right thing to do. Great job! Who showed their faithfulness to God in our Bible story? Was it Moses? The apostles? Or a donkey? That's correct. The apostles showed their faithfulness to God. Great job, everybody! Who wanted the apostles to be silent about their faith? Was it the Pharisees? Jesus? Or Judge Judy? That's correct. The Pharisees wanted the apostles to be silent about their faith. Great job! Super Snail Sam! Great job answering those questions. Remember, when we make the decision to follow Jesus, He will help us have the fruit of the Spirit. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. For this craft, we will be doing the necklace of the fruits of the spirit. I have pre-cut out 12, 11 circles. I left one. There's the last one. All the others are over here. And I wrote faithfulness, except I'm missing an S. That's what the last circle was. So, cat, do not knock over my work. Now, I'm just going to cut out the last one. My cat really wants to mess up my work. What does faithfulness mean to you? Being faithful. Faithful to who? Whoever you want, but I'm guessing in this context, it is good. It is God. I wish you guys could have seen that. I threw that behind me like an angelic creature. And then, it's faithfulness. I'm just missing the S, so S. That is a small S. And you need a string. I'm using ribbon. And you need to cut a hole in it. And then here, here's my swing. Um, then you just put it on. So while you're putting that on, can it go in any order? No. You have to spell faithfulness. If you want it to be mixed order, then sure, I guess. But you're spelling faith faithfulness is what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So, one of the fruits of the Spirit is faithfulness, and we are almost at the end of our series. We have this one and then two more. So, faithfulness, the apostles, the original followers of Jesus, were very faithful. No matter what happened to them, they were always faithful, um, even if they were put in jail for believing in Christ. Um, even if they were beaten for believing in Jesus Christ, they were always faithful no matter what. Galatians 20, 5, 22 and 23 is where you're going to find the fruits of the Spirit. And then if you want to see some of the examples in Scripture for when uh, the Christ followers were faithful. You want to look at Acts 5 verses 17 through 42 and maybe your parents can read it with you. So what do you have so far, Allie? 
I don't know. I'm struggling here. I think this happened to us last time and we needed a hole punch. You know what? You're not wrong, but I don't want to go buy one. Maybe your mama can borrow one next time. Can you color these if you want to? You can. I'm not, but you can. You most certainly can. And you can. Maybe if you color I wasn't them, looking at what I was doing and I was hoping it was going to go through. Maybe you can color them rainbow colors. Maybe that would be pretty. Yeah. Next week's craft going to involve something pretty. Yeah? Yeah. With rainbow colors? No. Now you just tie it into a knot. Okay, and after you tie it, then put it around your neck and I'm going to show everybody. Pastor Julie, so now I have the fruits of the Spirit, the faithfulness on around my neck as a necklace. See you next week. Wow, have there been times you have chosen not to wear faithfulness? Have there been a time when maybe you've chosen to be silent rather than share Christ with someone you know? Why do you think you chose that? I'm hoping this week you'll choose to wear faithfulness like you wear your necklace. So how do you plan to speak up in faith in the future? Remember faithfulness is about standing up for what you believe because it's the right thing to do, just like the apostles. And it will help you float just like those paper clips. So don't let doubt sneak in or unfaithfulness sneak in. Remember to let that fruit of the Spirit grow in you so you can show God's love to others. And then we'll see you next week on First Kids Worship! First Kids Worship! Looking forward to seeing you then!